Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com, is brought to you by Steel Rubber Products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping, and by rockauto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. And here's the actual control rod, and uh, boy, it's not doing well. That's what we actually pulled off that police car. But Dave, you made short work of it. Pretty easy, huh? Well, it is pretty easy. These are just essentially giant bolts connected by a sleeve here. So here's the other one. It's bent slightly. We knew we had to change that one as well. And here's the new one we have from Moog that we got from rockauto.com. Uh, to match the links, of course, you can grab a tape measure and make it the same. Or if you're changing the rod in, you might want to mark the threads with some whiteout or something or count the individual threads and then you can return the, the new rod end to the same position. In this case here, we're going to use the, the sleeve to actually adjust it. And we have the old one next to it so we can just start running this up and get the, got to get it close. It doesn't have to match exactly because this vehicle is going to need an alignment anyway. So yeah. once we get it close, uh, that's good enough to get it to the shop without shredding the tires. And let's yeah. run the jam nuts up and we're good to go. And that's the key. You're going to need alignment because toe is the most tire wearing angle. And uh, you know what? You took them off, so you get to put them back on. No, I'm going to give this to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh will make short work out that's of that right. as well. So let's talk a little bit about toe. What is it? And how does it actually wear your tires? Well, you could have toe in. Toe in, I'm over exaggerating it, but they're in like this. So what's happening, you're pushing the tires down the road. You're actually feathering from the outside in. Now toe out, just the opposite. They're going this way. You're pushing them down the road. So you're feathering from the inside out. A little bit different. I'll show you how they wear a little bit later. A couple adjustments. Well, you can have a shim like this and you really can't see this on camera, but it's thick on one side and thin on the other. So if you put that between a hub and you factor in a 16, 17 inch wheel, you're really moving that hub in or out. So you're affecting the alignment angles. These are actually offset ball joints or offset joints that the ball joints go into and they're asymmetrical. So what's going to happen here is you turn them, the spindle is going to move and you're going to affect alignment angles. You can use shims like this, put them in control arms. You can do caster and camber with this, sometimes some cars with tow. You also have these eccentrics and they're off center. So they're asymmetrical as well. They're pushing against the control arm and they're going to move it in and out, caster and camber with these on a lot of systems. Now I told you about that feathering wear. Look right up here. You can actually see the feathering going across the tire. That's what you're going to feel with your hands. And be careful. You don't want the cord sticking out and hurting your hand. Now I'm going to show you in a minute the one down there on the bottom left. That's an actual parallelogram steering system with a gearbox and that has an adjusting sleeve. What Dave did was the toe adjustment right there on the rod. There's the shim I showed you, and then you have the eccentric or the slots that are going to move it in and out. Now, in order to do it, it's pretty simple. I'm going to lock the steering wheel. And when we lock the steering wheel, nobody likes a steering wheel off center. So once we lock it, you can come down here to this right here. You can bust those little nuts open on the adjusting sleeve, get your special tool, or you can actually get you some channel locks and move them in and out. You can also take a tape measure. When you take a tape measure, you go to the front and the back and just make sure the number is the same. But Dave hit it right on the head. You're going to have to take the car and get a professional alignment. Well, coming up, we're going to bring in our F-250 for the segment we call Keep It or... Press it! Hey, we got a studio audience today. Stick around. We'll be right back with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. You are locked into Tech Garage, and we hope you're enjoying this episode. John, I'm enjoying the heck out of doing this series because I get to learn so much from you and Josh. Yeah, this is an incredible series, man. We do diagnostics. We got the coolest demos on the planet. We get to do it at Chipola College. Josh is a master technician. You, man, you're TV extraordinaire. So you know what? This is phenomenal, man. I love it, too. Yeah, we have a great time, and we do it every single week, but we're not done this week. Still more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com coming up. Stay tuned.